Hi students, in this video we're going to be looking at some examples to determine molecular polarity of structures and we're also going to be looking at the electronic and molecular geometry. So the first one we have is carbon dioxide, so we need to draw the Lewis dot structure first. So we do the formula, remember to do the need, do your needed, available, shared, and bonds. That will be very important, it helps you to determine the structure. So needed will be 8 from each, so that's a total of 24. 6 from each oxygen, 4 from the carbon, 6 twos are 12 plus 4 is 16. So needed minus available leaves us with 8. And divide that by 2 to get the number of bonds, we get 4. So carbon is in the middle. We know we need 4 bonds. So that means there are double bonds to each of the oxygens. Putting out Put in our lone pairs. Notice that there are two bonding groups or two bonded atoms. No lone pairs, so that makes it linear for our molecular geometry and linear for our electronic geometry. And since the two bonded groups are the same, then this is nonpolar. Okay, let's look at H2CO. Okay, do our needed, that would give us 20, available would be 12, or shared will be 8, so that's 4 bonds, carbon is in the middle, hydrogen, draw your most symmetrical form, oxygen, and we know that we need 8, Four bonds, sorry, so we need a double bond because hydrogen does, cannot have a double bond. That gives us eight electrons around the carbon. And we put now two lone pairs here. We look at it. We see that we have three bonded groups, so that makes it trigonal planar. No lone pairs around the carbon. Trigonal planar. And look at the groups around the central atom. Two are the same, one is different. And since we have different groups, now this would be polar. Okay, let's look at another example. Alright, F, BF3. Okay, and we can go ahead and draw the structure boron. Fluorine, fluorine, three. We know boron only needs six electrons to be stable. That's, that was one of our exceptions, so we put no dots on the fluorine. We have three atoms around the central atom, and we know it's going to be trigonal planar. And since they're all the same, then this is going to be nonpolar. Let's look at CH3F. Carbon is in the middle. Three hydrogens. One fluorine. Put in our lone pairs around fluorine. Three bonded groups around the carbon. I'm missing one hydrogen. All right, three bonded groups. Around four bonded groups are on the carbon, so that gives us tetrahedral. All right, and since they're all no lone pairs, tetrahedral, tetrahedral, and since there are three are three bonded groups are the same, one is different, so that's going to make it polar. All right, let's look at and that that will do. So hopefully that helps you in the, you determining the polarity of these structures. Alright, until the next time, blessings. I'm out.